Hey guys, welcome back to a new series in my new Minecraft 1.18 world. And we're going to be taking a look at all things redstone. So we're going to check out all the cool things you can make with redstone. Today we're going to look at a redstone clock, which I use all the time. And I would be lost without it. So without further ado, let's take a look at that. So guys, how are we doing? We're going to need some blocks for this. So we're going to need, obviously, some redstone. We're also going to need some hoppers. We're going to need two hoppers. And we are going to need a comparator and a redstone repeater. And then you're going to need something to make go. So I'm going to get a few examples of things that we can make go. Uh, okay, and then we're going to get a lever as well. So... I know what you're thinking. Redstone clock, what is that? Now, basically, sometimes in Minecraft, there are things that you want to go on and off and on and off again. Uh, I can think of one, which I'm going to show you at the end of the video, which I do all the time, and I do it to people on SMPs and things like that. So check that out at the end. But first, we're just going to do a very quick how to make a redstone clock. And, uh, oh, look, there's a lava pool here. That'll do nicely. Right. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is place down a hopper. Now, we're going to place down another hopper facing into the first hopper. Then we're going to break that one. And then we're going to put another one. So basically, we want them to look at each other like this. That means that this one will drop into this one, and this one will drop into this one. Right. Now, next thing we got to do is just put an item in there. So I'm going to put a hopper in there, and you'll see it's going in and out, in and out. That is because it's going between the two. Makes sense, right? Kind of. Right, so it's going between the two. Next, we're going to add a comparator facing this way. Now, what that's going to do is make the comparator go on and off and on and off and on and off. But if we tried to draw a signal out of this, it would be weak. Look how weak the signal is that's coming out of there. So what we're going to do is just whack a repeater on the end here. And then you can see we get a full strength signal coming out of there then. So we've got our on again, off again. Now, what can we do with this there's loads of things i'm going to show you my favorite at the end but we'll give you a simple example for now is you could have a flashing light isn't it great it flashes or you see that doesn't sound great but it does it sounds all right doesn't it but uh, if you added in something like this If we added in something like this, note block, some more redstone off here, a repeater. Now, a repeater will delay the signal. So when we place this one, we can start making a tune. Now, that's incredibly useful if you want a beat like that. It's really good if you put another one on the top as well. Because you'll really look good baseline then. So we could do this. Fun, huh? So this is where a redstone clock comes in handy. So that's our redstone clock. Now I know what you're thinking. What if I don't want my clock to be on all the time? What if I want it to go on when I want it on? Now, that's entirely possible. So what you're going to do is you're going to run a redstone signal off the back of it here. And then if we pop a torch down, we're going to put our lamp back on here. Just so we can still see it working. So if we put a torch down on this hopper, which is the one that was not getting the output from, then it should stop off. Okay, so the signal here is off. But if you wanted it to be on when you have the signal, if you put it into this hopper, it will make this always on. Now that can be good if you want something to repeat, repeatedly go on and off when you want it to, but the rest of the time you just want it on. Or likewise, you want it off. So very easy to control one of these redstone clocks. And... The other thing we can do with it, so you can do this with anything. I've got a piston here. It will do this with a piston as well. Which is amazing. I think you'll agree. Having a piston going in and out for no reason 
always fun. But you can do this with anything. Uh, if you really wanted to, I don't know where you'd want to blow something up. I mean, I always want to blow something up. But, um, yeah, I don't know why you would want to, to launch TNT off here. But you could, if you wanted to. You could also do something fun with this. So, here is my dispenser. And I've pointed it facing up. And the way you do that is you stand above the block you want to do it on and you jump. And that will point the dispenser facing up. See? Do it here. Okay. Now, let's just turn this off for a minute because... There we go. Now our, our dispenser is off at the moment. Now what we're going to do next is grab ourselves a crafting table. Grab ourselves some gunpowder. Let's pull this stuff back. We don't need this right now. Uh, and then we're going to grab ourselves some red dye. Red, red dye. Yep. And some gold nuggets. Okay, then we're going to put all this in here and it will give us red firework stars. Now, if you don't know how to do this already, I'm teaching you old, old things that you already know, then I apologize. But this is really cool stuff. So if you want to make fireworks that actually go bang, not just transport you, you can do this. So now we've gotten their red star-shaped fireworks. Now what we're going to do is hit this button here and then what should happen wait wait we obviously want it to be night time let's wait for that sun to go down guys and then i will show you all this pillages okay so let's hit the thing and then we can watch the display look at that if you want to fire off uh some fireworks like this this is the perfect mechanism to do it this is why i always use a redstone clock for but it has infinite uses i love fireworks right and if you again if you're putting it into this hopper when you stop it'll stop and that's it that is the tutorial on a redstone clock and if you want to see more redstone tutorials coming up in the next few days add a quick subscribe and also leave me a big thumbs up to show me that you enjoyed it. If you've got a better way of doing what I've just done, or you think that I could have done something a different way, put it in the comments. Let me know, and I will try that next time. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time for another Redstone tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye!